Once upon a time, there was a Zen master named Tai. Tai was known for his calm demeanor and his ability to find happiness in every situation. He had the ability to find peace, even in the midst of chaos. One day, a young man came to Tai seeking his advice. The young man said, Master Tai, I am not happy. I have everything I need, but I am not content. What should I do? Tai smiled and said, My dear friend, happiness is not something that you can find outside of yourself. It is not something that can be bought or earned. Happiness is something that exists within you, and it is up to you to cultivate it. The young man was confused. But Master Tai, he said, how can I be happy in every situation? What if something terrible happens? How can I be happy then? Tai replied, It is in those moments of difficulty that we are called to find the strength within us. We cannot control the situation, but we can control our response to it. And it is in that response that we can find happiness. The young man still looked skeptical. But what about when everything is going wrong? What about when I am sad or angry? Tai smiled again. Those emotions are temporary. Just like the weather, they will come and go. But happiness is a state of being. It is something that you can cultivate within yourself, no matter what is happening outside of you. The young man looked thoughtful. But how do I cultivate happiness? Tai replied, Start by focusing on what you have, not what you lack. Look for the beauty and goodness in every situation, no matter how small. Practice gratitude, even in difficult times. And most importantly, remember that happiness is a choice. The young man nodded slowly. Thank you, Master Tai. I will try to remember your words. Tai smiled and said, I have one last thing to tell you. When you find yourself struggling to be happy, imagine that you are a tree. A tree does not try to be happy. It simply exists, rooted in the earth and reaching towards the sky. And it is in that simple existence that it finds peace, contentment, and happiness. The young man bowed to Tai and left, feeling lighter and more hopeful than he had before. And as he walked back to his village, he looked at everything with new eyes. He saw the beauty in the flowers, the kindness in his fellow villagers, and even the challenges as opportunities for growth. In that moment, he realized that happiness was not something he could grasp or attain. It was something he already had within him, and it was up to him to nurture it, like a tree reaching towards the sky. If you like the story, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also press notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching.